So when you grow by a percentage, exponential growth, um, the amount of growth keeps changing. This year it's $3, next year it'll be $3.09. The year after that it's $3 and some other 25 cents or something. So um, the amount is different every year. It's really tedious to like write this all out. Maybe if you've been doing math for a long time, you've heard of PERT. P prime is P naught times E to the RT. If you haven't heard of it, don't worry about it. Because I've got a really cool trick that's way easier. It's called the rule of 70. It's study goal number eight. You got to do it. We'll practice. I'll show you some examples. We'll practice some more. It'll be repeated in the next few days of school and it'll show up on the AP test. I guarantee it. It'll be on the unit test too. I can promise you that. So here's that cool trick. Instead of adding a different amount until you've reached double, you can actually calculate the time it takes to double. All you need to know is the percentage. So doesn't matter what it is. It could be cars in the parking lot. It could be people with COVID. It could be human population. It could be dollars in the bank. As long as you know the percentage of growth, I can tell you how long it will take for one value to be double that value. It's a neat trick. Someday, if you want, I can show you the derivation. It's a pretty elegant math trick. Um, but for now, I need you to write this down. You gotta remember it, circle it, stars, arrows. It's on every AP test. Doubling time is seven zero seventy divided by the growth rate. And you write that growth rate as a percentage. You don't make it into a decimal. So any time that you're given a percentage, you can calculate how long it takes to double, okay? Doubling time. So any value of things, how long will it take to have twice as many? What's the amount of time it takes to double the starting value, doubling time? I'll show you some examples. Oh man, I keep doing that. Um, Today, let's say human population is 7.8 billion, and I'll give you a round number because it's easier. Let's say it's growing at 2% per year. So how long will it take for humanity to double? Well, 70 is always 70 because it's called the rule of 70. So 70 divided by the percentage, which is two, is 35. And I said the percentage was annual, so the 35 is in years, and that's your answer. Um, Whatever humans you've got now, you'll have twice as many in 70 divided by the percentage, which is a two. So look, that's it. That's how we know in, in 35 years, uh, you're like 16 or 17. So when you're 41 or 42, we'll have twice as many humans if we keep growing at a consistent rate. As long as that growth rate stays the same, uh, you'll turn 41 on a planet with 15 billion humans. Whew. In case you're curious, our growth rate is leveling off. Uh, let's say <coughs> that you want to talk about money. If you got a hundred bucks in the bank, and let's say it's five percent annually, well, seventy divided by five is fourteen. So whatever you've got in the bank will be twice as much in fourteen years. Doubling time is seven zero divided by percent written as a percentage, not as a decimal. And think about it, if you had to calculate this, it's not even that hard, but it would get really tedious. Year number one, you'd have 100 plus 5%, which is 0 0.05 times 100. So at the end of year one, you'd have 105 bucks, great. In year number two, you'd have 105 plus 0 0.05 of that value, right, because it's 5%. So at the end of year two, you'd be up to 110.25. And then in year number three, you would take that 110.25 plus 0 0.05 of that value. And, that you'd, and so you can keep going if you want. Year number four, year number five, I don't know. I could probably do this in my head for a little while. But that's tedious and slow. And pretty soon I'm going to need a calculator. It's a lot easier to just use the rule of 70. Here comes a tricky one. And um, I'd like you to try this one. 
So here's your setup. You've got a hundred bacteria in a Petri dish. They're growing at 7% per day. And I want you to tell me how long it takes to have 400 bacteria. So figure out the doubling time and then how many double times to reach 400, okay? And I'm just gonna pause. Actually, I'm not gonna pause, that would be stupid. I'd like you to pause my video, give it a minute. There's no consequences, but I just want you to try this out. Just take a minute, scribble this down somewhere, scratch paper, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna say pause one more time. I'll assume that you have paused. And if you haven't, pause it again, go back, do this. I mean it. But here's the answer, watch. Um, the doubling time is 70, the rule of 70. Doubling time is 70 divided by seven because that's the growth rate. And you write it as a percentage, so it's not a decimal, it's just a seven. Make sure you put this in your notes, by the way. And, um, 70 divided by seven is 10 days. And this time I said days because you can see the percentage was daily, right? So they're bacteria, they breed pretty fast. Um, so we've got um, 10 days to double the population. Um, but remember that's to double, right? So if you've got 100 bacteria, we've determined that in 10 days you're gonna have 200, they double. And then those 200 will double again to 400, right? Because we're doubling, we're not adding, we're doubling. So it takes a doubling to go from one to 200, and then it takes one more doubling to go from 200 to 400. Um, it's a tricky concept here that quadrupling is two doubling times or 20 days. Um, we'll practice this in class some more, but if you don't have this in your notes yet, the time it takes to double any value is equal to the number seven zero, it's a constant, is equal to 70 divided by the growth rate, which you write as a percentage, not as a decimal. Um, that tells you how long it takes to double whatever you started with. Um, we'll practice this again, but I'm a stop.